Hi guys, welcome. Random update vlog. I'm behind on a couple things that I talked about in the last video. I just wanna let everybody know what's been going on. So today's May 6th. I've not yet done this uh, white diamond ceramic coatings. I know that I said I was going to do that two weeks ago. I had a weather issue and then last weekend I ended up doing a disaster detail on a Chevy Equinox, which will be a video that comes up probably after this. I have a bunch of other things to talk about. I ordered um, some, I ordered all of the towels from Armor Detail Supply that they make. Uh, I wanted to test them out and see how they were. I don't know if they're making them themselves or if they're having them made for them, but I, I'm definitely interested in checking them out. I'm gonna get started on the Coach Chemi Blue line very soon. I've got some other polishes, the Last Cut and 3D polishes to try out, so I am gonna test those as well. Um, I did the grease mod on my Milwaukee pretty cool, but I haven't really spent enough time using it yet to be comfortable with releasing the video. Um, same thing with the JB4 and the F54 Clubman. I installed that. It's running good, I'm having no issues, but I want to get a little bit more time on it before I drop the video just in case I do have an issue. I was able to sell my Sony camera. It's awesome. Um, I bought a uh, gimbal for my iPhone. This is a Osmo Mobile SE. DJI product. Um, so I've been playing around with this a little bit just for some vlogging stuff to use my iPhone for that instead of using a uh, traditional camera, just because the Panasonic rig that I have now is actually like a big um, unit to have to carry around. So this would be more of like a vlogging setup and the Sony was kind of overkill for that. And then, um, yeah. I also with the Osmo picked up this microphone. This is a DJI mic which is designed to connect to your phone and be part of that. I recorded a whole section of video with the Equinox disaster detail and I ended up having a bunch of peaky audio issues. So I still need to play around with this and see like what makes the most sense and what settings do I need to use and all that crap. So every time you get a new camera, there's a whole learning curve of understanding the camera and all of its idiosyncrasies because every single one of them has problems. You'd think using your iPhone would be easy. It's not. I have a bunch of other like new things that I picked up. My solar people were here installing solar. So I had a bunch of stuff going on with that. That should actually be live tomorrow. So I should be able to finish the video up on that and talk about the solar installation and the process around it. I waited like three weeks after the install to finally get it operational, which I'll get into in that video. Um, I picked up the OG microfiber rag roll. This is from Rag Company. I've talked about this before. It's the Rag Company roll of rags or rip and rag, rip and rag. That's theirs. Um, I like this because it has the bigger core and the rags are softer and the edges aren't as rough. Um, so I'm going to be using these going forward. I do still have some of the auto fiber rolls left and you'll see me use those up. Um, but the OG roll isn't any more money and it comes in this cool box. So I figured I would just order the one from OG. That arrived today. <clears throat> I've got a couple new tools to talk about. So I'll do a couple new tool Tuesdays coming up. I picked up this mini torque wrench kit from Capri that looks really interesting. I'll just give you a very quick, it's tiny. How about that for a torque wrench? Really interesting. So I picked this up. Um, I also picked up a couple Iriga um, adjustable wrenches, which are really interesting. We'll talk about those too. I've got some more, <clears throat> I've got some more auto fiber towels to play around with. Uh, they keep coming and I really haven't done a video on those. Um, I picked up this Capri air tool kit that I talked about in my day in the life video. Oh, I did a day in the life video, which will be out after this as well. So there'll be a day in the life video. It's like an hour and a half long. I tried to condense it. It started out at like seven hours of footage. Be, be gracious in the comments on that one. Um, I'm playing around with the most expensive bucket, which is the Yeti. I also picked up this Adams bucket at the suggestion of somebody, uh, somebody who'd watched my videos before, uh, messaged me on Instagram and told me to check it out. So I did. Um, so I'm going to talk about that a little bit. Um, I got this, which is probably my new favorite quarter inch ratchet. It's a Capri. Um, again, I, I don't know why Capri came up in like my Instagram feed in that, um, torque wrench caught my eye and I just, I grabbed this and this blow gun and a bunch of other stuff. 
Um, <clears throat> I've got a bunch more tool grid here. There's six more tool grid boards sitting here, which should be enough to do almost all of my drawers. I'm gonna have to order the accessories and grid all of those out, but I'm interested to see how those come out. I've been kind of doing those slowly because one, the tool grid is expensive, two, it's very time consuming, and three, I have three empty drawers right now because of all the condensing that I've been able to do so far. But uh, all that to say, there will be more tool grid in the future and there will be more new tools in the future like you're seeing here. The next drawer that I wanna do is my ratchets, which is why you know I got a torque wrench and this guy and some other stuff. I'm kind of reevaluating what ratchets I want. What do I wanna keep? What do I wanna sell? What do I like? What do I not like? Um, some of my snap-on ratchets are probably gonna go, honestly. I like them, but I like some other stuff just as much, if not better, like Tecton and this Capri now. I threw Adam's megaphone in with the cart for the um, bucket because it was 15% off the whole order. And I think I needed to hit a certain number to get free shipping. So it was like buy that. It was cheaper to buy that than it was to not buy it. You know what I'm talking about, shipping. I need to finish up the Yeti bucket video. Why? Well, I need to start it first and then I'll finish it. Um, I've been doing a lot of rinseless washing lately. It's been kind of crazy. We've had some crappy weather, especially on the weekends. So I've been doing a lot of rinseless. I've washed this car with Hero probably four or five times in the last three weeks. Um, I'm really enjoying rinseless a lot more than I historically have. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm liking that a lot more. It's making me use my solo sprayer a lot more. So I'm really appreciating the solo sprayers and how well those work. Um, I am looking for a mechanical project, something that I can spend some time with. Um, I don't have a ton of space right now, but I wanna get, I wanna get another project car and build something <clears throat> or get something that's like mechanically wrecked and fix it like an, a blown engine like I did with that gray Scion uh, a couple years ago. So yeah, like I said, um, keep watching the videos, subscribe if you're interested in any of these things. I've got a bunch of new products from Armor, White Diamond, Renew, Monkey Head, Coach Kemi Blue Line, some stuff from Adams, polisher mods. I'm gonna get the new liquid elements polishers from OG and test those out. I'm also planning to pick up the rotary from DIY Detail and DIY Details rags and play with all of those. Bunch of tool content, some vlogging, camera stuff, solar, bunch of crap. So, you know, that's the next couple of months, what it looks like for me. I don't have any vacations planned this summer or anything. It's, it's May, it's gonna be full steam ahead. I just need a couple nice weekends where I don't have a bunch of stuff to do. Now this weekend coming up is Mother's Day. The weekend after that is Jessica's birthday. So like, I've got a couple things coming up here that are going to eat into my time a little bit. Need to prioritize the family. Said that on the last video on the day in the life video, which you haven't watched yet. So that'll be out soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for the emails. Um, thank you for all of it. It's really appreciated. I love interacting with you guys. I love, um, I, I love the fact that the channel is growing every single day. I see new subscribers, new people, new questions, new interactions. Everybody's being respectful for the most part. We're having great conversations. Just try to be collaborative. Be nice in the comments. Don't crap on somebody because they're believing something different than you. Instead, Explain why you believe something is different or why something that I said is incorrect or could be done differently or could be done better. Talk about your experiences. Don't just say you're wrong. It's always okay to disagree when you're providing reasons why. It's not okay to disagree when you're providing zero context and you're just telling somebody that they're stupid. So anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day.